I, I haven't really prepared, but I have been thinking about it for some several days. And uh, probably I would like to start with some connections with the previous speakers because I was lucky to to listen to them and uh, to connect to Lithuanian colleague. Um, in a way, if you are wondering why I have this kind of uh, wall behind me. Uh, so I was living in Riga for uh, 20 years and trying to kind of support contemporary dance and make better conditions in very practical terms and do different kind of lobbying and from writing and um, management and uh, going to Ministry of Culture. But now I'm out of Riga in deep countryside and I work as a librarian, as Biru Teletukaite did some time ago. So uh, nothing changes in this world. So so thanks for, uh, I didn't know that Biru was working as a librarian. So now I'm very proud I have this job now. And uh, to connect to Hungarian colleague, uh, um, I remember that in 2004, when uh, I think Hungary was joining uh, uh, EU together with Latvia, and probably the most known name from uh, Latvian dance field, uh, Olga Zitluhina and her company, they were performing in Budapest uh, to celebrate uh, the um, uh, joining uh, European Union. So it was some choreography by Attila Kuhn, probably, I don't know if you saw, you saw, did you? Yeah, <laughs> so uh, that was uh, yeah some of my quick connections. Uh, otherwise, uh, I will not go into history much, uh, except I can mention that yeah, and similarly, then in our part of the world, like we can talk about some kind of systematic and regular development of contemporary dance since nineties. So that's the same thing: Iron Curtain, Ballet Stage Fall. Yeah, and the same Olga Zitlukina was actually also dancing in the, this folk dance ensemble in Budapest. So there were those uh, international uh, connections um, at that time before the, the kind of work on uh, contemporary dance um, really started happening. Um, but we are not doing uh, so bad, even um, if I live in countryside and work as a librarian. That is more also a mission and um, belief in uh, this decentralization, which is uh, which I have been doing in my profession. I love bringing contemporary dance performances to different regions for um, like yeah around twenty years as well. Uh, the, what happens right now, we are preparing for the third Baltic dance platform. So for the ones who haven't heard it so yet, so this first one happened in uh, 2019. Oh, I have Kat coming in the screen, of course. Uh, the first uh, was happening in 2019 in Vilnius. Uh, then uh, the second one, 2022 in uh, Tallinn and now in uh, from February 9 to February 11 there will be the third one in in Riga and um, there will be like uh, the jury was international full, fully international uh, including Gergi from uh, workshop foundation in Budapest so we, again we have uh, connections so uh, three full time pieces from uh, each of the Baltic countries and uh, five uh, like short presentation pitches from each of the Baltic countries. And the website is balticdance.org. Uh, so uh, the detailed times of the program uh, will be up soon, but the, the names uh, are there already. So those are just three days. So there will be this uh, dance platform race happening in that time because there is ice hot, German platform, Swiss platform, everything at the same time. So dancey, dancey. Uh, winter. It makes you warm. Uh, and then uh, what is happening right now and has been happening also, like I heard about the communication uh, with uh, like among different forms of dance. We have this quite, I would say, in some sense, experimental dance prize, dance awards, which is separate from theater and music. It exists since uh, 2017, so not so long. And uh, it is. Uh, it took the risk to, and it was also the only political possibility uh, to bring together kind of existing uh, dance forms, which could be called professional dance forms. So contemporary dance and ballet is kind of more clear in those ones, but there's also stage folk and kind of show dance because the professional people working in that one, but working with amateurs, but that was political choice. So, and this uh, jury evaluating those works 
uh, they, uh, there is one like one, two people from each of the fields and they need to watch everything and they need to discuss together and decide on the nominees and the winners together. So it's been like one of the, I think, um, uh, strongest integration programs in dance field since long time. Challenging, crazy, a lot of fighting, a lot of reactions. So the, so it, uh, we, we have had, it's biannual, we have had three uh, award ceremonies and uh, it's going uh, quite wild. And uh, the more popular it gets, the more kind of, ah, it, it, it is uh, happening. But in a way, it does some nice proactive work in uh, communicating among uh, different dance artists and uh, because the it's mostly professional uh, in sense of practitioners jury and uh, also like um, helping with the with the visibility uh, and uh, it also links a little bit uh, to the this topic of theater because previously there were no awards for dance uh, there was one category in the theater um, awards which was like the best ballet artist, only ballet, only uh, soloist, and and one nomination in the theater awards. And um, it happened that I was also on that jury because I was writing about theater some time ago. It was in 2011-12 when I was on that um, theater award jury. And I said, guys, doesn't look good because now we have education for contemporary and for ballet. We have professional companies working, but why there is only this one nomination for ballet and theater people really kind of hate it and want to get rid of it. So uh, whether you get rid of ballet or you take in contemporary to have it more kind of uh, fair and also uh, to include some decision-making on that because previously the decision was made by the uh, head of the ballet company and which is the only ballet company in the whole country so it was kind of very just like uh, the boss decides who of the employees will get the prize and so uh, this uh, theater workers union agreed and so from this uh, 2012 to 2017 and it was in every year contemporary dance could live within that theater prize and uh, and and uh, and uh, there was like uh, it, there was recommendation from the choreographers association about contemporary dance and from ballet association about ballet. So it was doing quite well. And in a way, that was a precondition to create also this separate dance awards and uh, leave the theater uh, prize, which is kind of more popular and maybe more visible. But uh, the community agreed. Okay, let's try to have our separate prize, and then we can have. 14 nominations or something and people uh, can get 1000 euros uh, for to if they win and so it's better than 500 euros only for one artist and here would 14 artists would get 1000 euros so it's quite nice in that sense uh, but in a theater context uh, like uh, I, I believe the situation is different in different countries but in Latvia since the very 90s uh, uh, most of the contemporary choreographers, they have been working and making most of the money in theater field. And uh, also in this, uh, we could see that uh, in the, if in the like mid 90s, there were still some ballet choreographers, some contemporary choreographers, some directors working this movement, uh, then lately, it is only uh, the contemporary choreographers who are nominated as a movement artists in a dramatic theater, because that category stayed in the theater award so i could see that this is really like uh, input into the way how the physicality of the drama theater in latvia looks is very much from how the contemporary dance education in latvia is uh, but lately there is a new tendency uh, that um, there are more and more pieces like movement based without words and they're not always choreographers are involved, or if they are, they are from abroad for whatever reason. I cannot really explain, but uh, but the outcome is uh, those kind of movement theater works, which contemporary dance people would consider like 20, 30 year history, like uh, way of um, working with the movement. But that's been always like, it's my speculation that uh, kind of theater catches some in the, in the physicality, some dance ideas, around 20 years later, something like that. And then it becomes trends there and uh, have more. That's just my experience and speculation. No no research done, nothing. I'm not in academia so, so much, only sometimes. Uh, so 
yeah, a little bit of education. So this professional higher education started existing in Latvia in 1999. And now it's uh, seventh generation of the choreographers, uh, contemporary dance artists will graduate the Latvian Academy of Culture. So that is the kind of history uh, stretch of uh, education here. And um, since last summer, we have the first graduates who are graduates from ballet school, Riga Ballet School, but who graduated in the separate flow as contemporary dancers. So technically, we have the first ones who are dancers in contemporary dance, not uh, this um, bachelor in arts with specialization in uh, contemporary dance. So that is the education uh, situation. And on uh, it, as the, those are quick thoughts and on latest, then on uh, 27th of November, we will have discussion where the head of heads of uh, program in Latvian Ac Academy of Culture, Olga Lukin and Ramon Galkina, and Andrius Katinas uh, from uh, Vilnius will participate, and also Kai Valtna from Viljandi Academy in Estonia, uh, where um, uh, those are two education institutions you could become contemporary dance artist and by different ones in Estonia we will have a really handy guest on 27th of November coming to Riga and tomorrow the, the, we will get to know which is the best choreographer in uh, theater so in this uh, movement uh, artist in uh, theater because the 23rd of November is when this uh, theater awards is awarded uh, so uh, uh, Short about festivals, yeah, we still, we, we have uh, this very long time existing festival, which is called International uh, Baltic International Ballet Festival. They have ballet, but they also have some contemporary works. And so it's been surviving and struggling quite long and this very unstable also quality of the works presented, but it uh, survives and keeps showing work from ballet to flamenco. To, to, to nice contemporary work, so very last one. And then there is Time to Dance Festival happening in June. Also still lives, uh, mostly somehow addresses insiders audience um, from dance community and not also, all, always all of them, uh, but, um, uh, but still, yeah, keeps happening. And then there is interesting um, thing about, uh, we have uh, this uh, Baltic Drama Forum, which is the collaboration in theater among three Baltic countries. And uh, we were a little bit, uh, as a dance community, surprised that the selection of works brought um, to Latvia, because the forum happened in Riga this um, fall, they were mostly dance pieces. Let's say there was this uh, Eden Detail Estonian work, which got the dance prize in uh, Estonia, which was selected for the previous Baltic dance pl platform and suddenly it's shown also as one of the highlights in the Baltic Drama Forum. So there was this section uh, title about um, the dance becoming a new, <laughs> new theater. <laughs> yeah, but what is it? Dance is new black, yeah? Orange is a new black, dance is a new theater. Uh, but uh, we could see that in those structures where you, previously they were kind of more clearly that the, the, those are theater contexts and the theater artists and uh, performances are presented and there are more and more uh, dance works entering. Also in the funding system, uh, because the main funding system is this um, cultural endowment state culture and capital foundation, uh, similar to KULKA in Estonia. In Estonia. And uh, previously we had this kind of weird division, dance was with music in one section and, uh, and, and theater was separately. Then uh, dance and music section said that uh, contemporary dance looks more like theater, go to theater section. Okay, we start applying in theater section, uh, but then somebody say, okay, this is somewhere in the middle, what if you collaborate and so, and then it's become super weird and tricky with this division. And then uh, there was like kind of big initiative from Dance uh, Council, which is this kind of consultative group at the Ministry of Culture. Please make separate dance because they're quite many and so on. Okay, money is not so much, but still please make it separate. Uh, in a way there was agreement, but the head of National Ballet voted against, uh, but that's fine because a council is bigger than one person. Uh, so this uh, proposal went to the uh, cultural endowment. But then there was also another letter from this head of National Ballet. He said he doesn't like it. 
And so it was it was stopped. It never happened. So that's also like the context, how things still happen. Doesn't matter that there is majority vote discussed. There's still some people who have enough influence. No, that was in time when Minister of Culture was opera singer from the Opera and Ballet House and this and all that thing. So it's 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 sad for me that it still happens that way, but it happens. But nevertheless, the change happened. And now we have no theater. Okay, the dance is kicked out from music. Music lives its own life, lots of money. Uh, and uh, now we have stage arts division. And it's everything. Theater, dance, circus, performance art, whoever. And uh, it exists for the first year. And in the last um, uh, call, which was in the September, I think um, there were like 80 or 85% uh, granted, uh, works were done species, actually. So that's uh, turned out to be our uh, stage arts uh, division. Of course, there are several reasons for that. Not only that the most dance proposals, even if people say they're not so well prepared because very weak uh, administrative support, uh, but um, also like uh, state theaters, uh, have, they are state theaters with state funding and uh, dance is project ba based relies um, only on that. So that is uh, also why it's more, but but in a way the, the field is quite vibrant. People are kind of uh, yeah applying, applying uh, uh, like crazy and uh, wanting to do their work. And of course, not of course, but unfortunately there's still not dance house. So that's why I live in countryside house because otherwise I could live in dance house and do the thing there. Um, but And uh, there have been different uh, attempts to do that. The latest one was uh, thinking about because we have this very old style traditional circus building which got renovated for state money and it's kind of state institution. They have this, this circular one which is you know, like a monument of uh, ar architecture monument and then there's a plan to build 400 seat black box in the backyard also for circus. And uh, already during the innovation, we're trying to tell, please put a wooden floor at least in this arena so it would be accessible and, and, and kind of fine for dance. They said, no, acrobats need cement. And we talked with uh, Audronis in Lithuania. He said, no, there is a way to put all those things to strengthen also with the wooden floor. Nothing happened. It's a very bad concrete cement floor, which even those metal things are coming out. There were performances, dancers barefoot, and uh, was not very nice conditions there. Uh, but but uh, I'm telling that mostly because we don't have circus community. They had a forbidden, stopped uh, uh, animal circus, which was most animal circus. You know what I mean? Circus with animals is traditional. Uh, and uh, so people, um, uh, yeah, were also mostly coming in, only a few artists locally. And now we in this new circus, contemporary circles, we have like four or five artists. Uh, education is only like a circus school for children. And there is this renovation, there is this project with two, I don't know if they will have money and build this also the second building. But when I talked to the, the director, I said, but why can't it be, and it's like between two blocks in the city center. I said, why can't it be the dance houses from that street and circuses from that street, this, this old style uh, circus building. And then oh, we need to develop a circus as an autumn. I said, but there is no really artists. There are like seven generations of choreographers who are choreographers and working and actively internationally, locally in theaters and so on. Ah. So uh, I don't know. I don't think it will be happening. Uh, we also have a new stage of uh, opera building. Not, not. It's called new, but it's like 200, 300 seat. Could be black box if I move seating closer. There are one or two performances uh, <laughs> during the uh, year. Not, not much more, uh, but still, uh, there is no kind of uh, policies to try to open it up, to put it for okay, together for contemporary dance, contemporary, um, whatever, even all together mu contemporary musicals or something. No, not happening because they're rehearsing there. They say they said they will stop rehearsing when they build new building a little bit outside for to store all the set design things. You know this elephant from. By there, it's quite big. It's from cardboard and it's big. It's like a big garage you need. It's like a truck. 
And now they have a place to store that elephant, but there's still <laughs> nothing is happening on that stage. So what I'm saying is infrastructure wise that there are places, they could be super simple, uh, super cheap solutions, um, joining joint administration, one artistic director, I don't know, like uh, can become venue or with eight dancers company, the investment is tiny, but it, there's just no political will. And of course, maybe it was the longest rule by nationalist party of the Ministry of Culture. And we cannot really prove that all the contemporary processes are pus pushed out from the agenda. But it still looks like if you kind of look at the visual arts museum, contemporary arts is also some form of agenda. Now we have uh, the kind of pro uh, more progressive party as a minister, but she is so young and so lost at the moment so and uh, so dependent on another party so and not much hope for that but uh, who knows maybe yeah if she doesn't get mesmerized by those uh, old uh, structural uh, uh, smart communists then maybe dance gets uh, some space